everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today we'll talk about Smart Stay. Smart Stay is a way that it keeps your screen on while you're looking at it, and it uses the front camera to detect your face. So example of this is let's say that your screen timeout is only set for one or two minutes, but you keep on looking at your phone, or maybe you set it down for a second, you pick it back up, but as you're still reading your article or looking at what you're looking at, it times out on you, you have to tap the screen and so on and so forth. Now this is a way that's able to stay on as long as you're looking at it. So first let me show you where you can find this setting. The first thing you wanna do is go inside of your settings, then you're gonna scroll down to where it says advanced features. Now inside of advanced features, you wanna go down and go to motions and gestures. And then this is where you see smart stay. Now the best way for me to demonstrate this for you is if I go inside of my settings, I change my display timeout all the way down to 15 seconds. Originally I always keep mine at five minutes. So I'm gonna put it at 15 seconds and when you don't touch it and you don't look at it, what happens is that the phone will actually stay on for 10 seconds, it'll dim, and then five seconds later, it turns off your display. Now, at that moment, when it uh, basically turned down its brightness, it dimmed down, it's at that moment when you need to be looking at your phone for it to not shut off. So again, one more time, you'll see here, just the next couple seconds, it will dim, and then again, the screen will turn off. Now, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lift the phone, and it's facing my face right now. Uh, it's still set up for that 15 second timeout, but because you know I'm looking at the phone, uh, this is when it's not going to turn off. Now I've gotten a question talking about does Smart Stay still work? I don't see the icon in the top notifications panel because what happened was back when Samsung you know first brought uh, Smart Stay onto the devices, there was a small icon that popped up every time it was looking at your face and then it would disappear. And then the next time that your screen was about to time out, it would pop right back up, letting you know, hey, I'm detecting your face. Uh, I see it, it's gonna stay on. So that little uh, icon is not there anymore, but it specifically still does work. Now, again, when you have your setup for uh, you know a five minute timeout, what's gonna happen is that after four minutes, and uh, you know, 50 seconds, it's gonna try to find your face. So this was the best example I can give, the best demonstration for Smart Stay. Just go inside of your advanced features, turn it on. Uh, my display is always set to five minutes. And so with Smart Stay on, the nice thing about it is that when you have it set up for five minutes, it'll take less battery than if your phone was set up for one minute or two minutes, because that means that every one minute, two minute intervals, it's gonna try to look for your face with the front facing camera. But if you set it up for five minutes, it only has to do it every five minutes. So it's up to you if you want to keep it on or not. I specifically put it at five minutes for me because that's all the time that I need. But this was the best demonstration I could do for Smart Stay. I hope this has helped you guys out. If, you, if it did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Is number one desirable I do what I want when I want and how I want it Leave you with the one in the air That's how I want I got to